Bacterial toxins are potent substances that are produced by bacteria and which can cause significant harm to the host organisms. These toxins, they are categorized based on their origin, structure, and mechanism of action. Understanding bacterial toxin is crucial in the field of microbiology, medicine, and public health, as they play a central role in the pathogenesis of many, many bacterial infections. Now let's understand the types of bacterial toxins. Bacterial toxins, they are broadly classified into two main types, exotoxins and endotoxins. Exotoxins are toxic proteins produced by bacteria into their surrounding environment. These toxins are typically produced by gram-positive bacteria, although some of the gram-negative bacteria, they also produce them. Exotoxins are highly, highly potent and can cause damage even at a very, very low concentrations. Exotoxins, they are often encoded by plasmids or bacteriophages, and their production can be regulated by environmental conditions. They are categorized based on their mode of action as well as the target tissue. Let's talk about cytotoxins. These toxins, they damage host cells directly, leading to cell lysis and death. An example is the diphtheria toxin produced by Cornibacterium diphtheri. Next category is neurotoxins. These specifically target nerve cells, interfering with nerve signal transmission. The botulinum toxin produced by Clostridium botulinum is a well-known neurotoxin that causes botulism. Third category is enterotoxins. These affect the intestine lining, causing symptoms such as vomiting and diarrhea. Pathogenic E. coli strains and Vibrio cholerae produce enterotoxins that lead to food poisoning and cholera. Let's talk about second category, endotoxins. Endotoxins are lipopolysaccharides found in the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. Unlike exotoxins, endotoxins are not directly secreted but are released when the bacterial cell disintegrates. The lipid A component of LPS is responsible for the toxic effects. Endotoxins, they trigger strong immune responses leading to inflammation, fever, and in severe cases, septic shock. Now let's talk about the mechanism of action. Bacterial toxins, they exert their effects through various mechanisms. The first one is enzymatic activity. Some toxins have enzymatic functions that degrade cellular components. For example, the alpha toxin produced by Clostridium perfringens has phospholipase activity that disrupts cell membranes. Let's talk about second mechanism, pore formation. Certain toxins, they form pores in the host cell membranes, leading to cell lysis. Staphylococcus aureus alpha toxin is an example that creates pores in the membranes of RBCs, red blood cells, and also other cell types. Third mechanism, intracellular targets. Some exotoxins, they enter host cells and interfere with internal processes. The cholera toxin, for instance, modifies the host cell's G proteins, causing a massive influx of water and electrolytes into the intestinal lumen. The next mechanism is superantigen activity. Superantigens are the class of exotoxins that can hyperactivate the immune system by binding to MSC class 2 molecules as well as T cell receptors, leading to an excessive release of cytokines. This can result in severe inflammatory responses as seen with toxic shock syndrome toxins produced by Staphylococcus aureus. Bacterial toxins, they are the key aspects of bacterial pathogenicity. With diverse mechanisms, they can severely affect host organisms. Continued research into bacterial toxin is vital for developing new therapeutics and preventive measures against bacterial infections, which can ultimately reduce their impact on public health. This concludes our basic understanding of the topic. If you have watched the full video and gained some useful insights, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Remember, this is not going to cost anything, but your support motivates us to create more and more videos like this and help students learn for free around the globe. I sincerely thank you for your support. And please do visit Basics and Series again. Thank you.